Okay, here's our video today. We're going to be talking about fast twitch and slow twitch muscles that chimpanzees have and humans have. And we'll talk about how chimps are stronger than us. And perhaps you wondered why they were stronger or perhaps you didn't care. You may have thought, well, how could a five foot, 150 pound male chimp physically manhandle a bodybuilder or someone who's six foot five, 300 pounds? which they can easily manhandle. They're that much stronger. It, it just doesn't seem logical. I mean, their bite force is logical. Look at those teeth. Got a pen going here. Their bite force, we'll put bite force, is much more powerful than humans. Their bite force can, can go anywhere between 1,300 to 4,000 newtons. And Newtons is the measurement for force. Whereas in humans, our bite force is about 300 to 700. So to put that in perspective, a chimp, if it bit you, it bit your skull, it can crush your skull. But we're talking about strength. And we have to include bones also. Chimps have denser and thicker bones. And there's a direct correlation between large, dense bones and strength. So they have thicker bones compared to ours. That's the first thing. Here's Arnold in his prime when he was Mr. Olympia. You would think that a chimp would have a major problem trying to take him down. But no, Arnold would not be able to take on a chimp. Look at the size difference. It's hard to tell in the picture whether the chimp is... Is angry or is he smiling? But look at the teeth again. Look at the size difference. Easily he can manhandle that person. So you can see the differences in the thickness of bones. And of course it's obvious, you, you know, since chimps are in the jungle, they're climbing, they're gripping, they need thicker bones, especially when they're, they're dropping from the trees. Where's my pen? I lost my pen. So you can see, I mean, here's the human, and here's chimp. Much thicker bones. So in other words, their bones also are they're less hollow and more dense. So a, a major determination of bone strength, which correlates to muscle strength, something called CBT. It's the outer layer of the bone, right? The cortical outer layer cortical bone thickness much thicker in chimps of course much much more thicker in gorillas look at that over there and like i said before i'm going to say it again there is a direct correlation between the cbt cortical bone thickness and overall strength which is much stronger in chimps or much thicker i should say but now the muscle type. So there are two types, and the fast twitch has subtypes also. So maybe I'll stick with red here. So as you can see, the fast twitch and the slow twitch muscles. And if you look at the picture, fast twitch is associated more with sprinters, where slow twitch marathon run runners. And chimps have much more, right here, chimps have much more fast twitch muscles and fast twitch muscles we're looking at power raw strength that a sprinter needs or a linebacker or a running back the problem with fast twitch muscles is that you fatigue easier but it gives you that short, that short burst of strength that chimps have over us. Now, elite athletes will also have, depending on what a sport they're playing in, like I said, running backs, for example, should have more fast twitch muscles. And marathon runners will slow twitch because with slow twitch, you don't fatigue as easier as fast twitch. So with chimps, they could be, they're stronger than us. 
close to two times stronger than us. But we can endure longer. We're built for that savanna. So if we're comparing the percentages with chimps, with their fast switch, we'll say they have 66, around 66% 66 of the overall proportion of, uh, of fast switch fibers compared to humans, which is about 30%. So to review, chimps have thicker bones, much more dense bones, and they have more fast twitch muscles, which give them that power and raw strength. So here's another chart we can look at. So with slow twitch, we're looking at marathon, biking, jogging, yoga, swimming. And fast twitch, by the way, swimming could be fast twitch also, depending on how, if it's... Um, quick laps in the pool for example on the fast switch you know jumping and boxing and strength training something that's short quick 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 but fatigues quickly the key with fast twitches fatigues quickly so the chimps can have a massive raw power but they'll fatigue quicker than humans will because we have now again there are humans have different percentages for the most part the averages we have about half slow half fast but at elite, elite athletes, depending on, again, what they're doing, if they're boxers and so forth, if they're football players, whatever the case may be, they could have more fast twitch muscles. And, of course, no one's messing with this silverback. And if you think how if a chimp is stronger than us, how strong, pound for pound, the silverback gorilla could be the strongest animal on earth, pound for pound. All right, that's our video today.